Hi, my name is Greg Perkins. I am the instructor for this class, Math 3A, the summer of 2020. So I want to just show you with this video basically how the class is going to work. Here's the syllabus, which of course you can read in detail, but I'm going to go over some of the main points. Got my email address. We're going to have two Zoom office hours on Tuesday and on each Friday. So I'm going to ask you to tell me what times those should be, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So of course, we're going to be using an online homework system. But if you would like to have a textbook, this is optional. So it's Calculus by Stuart. And let me just show you. Oh, I already have it. So on Chegg, it would be $12 to rent. On Amazon, whoa, on Amazon, it's eleven twenty-five to rent. So you don't actually have to get the textbook because this is uh, an online class, but the homework system is based on that textbook. You know the sections follow that textbook, and so if you would like to see more examples, read more, uh, get some extra help, you could do that. You'll also need a graphing calculator like a TI eighty four. So the homework system that we're using is called Newton Alta. So that's at newton.com, although I provide a link, which I'll show you in a minute. So this costs $10 a month. Since this is a June and July class, that means that it would cost you $20 for the whole class. Um, and I'm going to actually create a separate video to show you the Newton Alta. Otherwise, this video is going to become very long. So I'm going to break it up into two. This video is showing you the basics of this class. OK, so if you look down here, there's actually four things that are going to make up your grade, four things that we're going to work on each week. The first two, problem sets and podcast problems. So these are things that I made up, and that's a total of 50% of your grade, those two, the ones that start with P for Perkins. No, problem sets and podcast problems. So the podcast problems, that is going to be the easiest, funnest part of the whole class. Because what I did is, basically for every section, I made up two examples, I recorded a video, and your job is to watch the video. Now to prove that you actually watched it, you'll need to write down what I write down. So you're basically just proving that you actually watched me do it, write down the problems, and you'll get full credit. The problem sets so these are like homework questions. They are a little more challenging, and these would be done on paper. So you would go ahead and print them out, work on it, show your work on paper, not just the answer. The work is part of the grade, and then you'll turn that in on Canvas. Now, 50% of the class is also with Newton Alta. So there's the homework, and then there are also quizzes. Okay. So if you scroll to the second page, there's the schedule for the whole semester. So basically to cover everything, we need to cover about five to six sections per week. There's going to be homework every week, a quiz every week, podcast problems every week, and problem sets every week. And it's all lined out right here, week one, week two, etc. OK, now let's go ahead and look at Canvas. So here's our class page. What's due and when it's due. So that is sort of like what I just showed you, week one, week two, but it's more specific because there's the actual date. So basically my thinking is when we look at that schedule that I just showed you on page two of the syllabus, my hope is that you would get all of this done Monday through Friday and then have the weekend to have fun, do other things, etc. So with the homework, that is the one thing that you don't actually have to turn in on time. Everything else has to be turned in on time. But as I'll show you later on when we go to the Newton Alta for the homework, it's a adaptive system. So if somebody's doing really well, then they're going to be able to speed through the homework and they're not going to have as many homework questions. 
if a student is having more trouble, then Newton Alta will adjust and will give them a similar problem and then another similar problem. So when I create the homework for a particular section down at the bottom of my page, it says this is going to be anywhere from 12 to 18 homework questions. 12 for those people that just go right through it and get them all right. 18 for those that need extra help. Okay, so for that reason, some people are going to take a little bit longer, but try to stay with this schedule right here. Week one that you get all of this homework done. Week two, you get this homework done, etc. Okay, so that is what's due and when is it due. So, like I said, I made up the podcast problems and I made up the problem sets. So they are right here, the podcast problems for the whole class. There is 100 of them. And there's going to be, there are links in Canvas to the videos, or you can just go to YouTube slash Hartnell College Math. Look for the Math 3A link, and there they are. And like I said, you would just write down what I write down. But if you want to see what the problems are before you go in and work on them, here they are, all 100 of them. And then there's also... Internet's going a little bit slow for a second. Okay, there's also the problem sets. So with these, you need to print them out. So when you click on it, then Canvas will load it so you can take a look at it. But I would go ahead and click this link right here with the PDF. Go ahead and download it and print them out. And as you can see, there's plenty of space here for you to show your work. And then once you've showed all of your work, each one is three pages long. Once you showed your work, then you would scan it and turn it in on Canvas. So that would be done right here under Assignments. And so you would then say, OK, I'm ready to turn in problem set number one. Click it right there. It's going to say, OK, upload it. You upload it, and then I grade it. Now, um, basically the way that I imagine the class would go is that you go to, starting with the beginning, which is chapter two, Chapter one is just a review of pre-calculus, and we don't have time to do the review of pre-calculus. So you go into chapter two, and all of the notes and all of the videos are already here. So you can work at your own pace. You can work ahead. That would be good. But anyway, let's say you are ready to look at section 2.1, so you take a look at the notes. Now what I would do is print this out, or uh, download it to my iPad, and then I would take notes on top of these notes. That's the way that I would do it. So these notes right here, there's also a video to accompany those. So if you saw what I just wrote right there, well, when you click on the Section 2.1 video... All right, here we go, the first section. Of so what I do is I record a video, I write the notes as I go, of course, and then I scan those, and those are the notes. So what you see as the notes, that's exactly what I'm doing on the video. Also with the video, I show you how to use the calculator. And um, yeah, so anyway, that's going to be the notes for each section. Now, additionally, there's extra examples. So these extra examples are basically when I first got my iPad about a year and a half ago, and I was so happy with the, the pencil, Apple Pencil. So I made um, these extra examples for my class that semester, and I decided, well, might as well throw them in here. They're extra examples where I work them out so you could take a look at those. Okay. So right here, there's a day one quiz, and this quiz right here, you will get 100%. This quiz is just basically you telling me about yourself. So let's preview it. Just basically, like, what's your major? What's your educational or career goal? So your major might be math, but your educational goal is you want to become a dentist. I wouldn't have put those two together, but it happens. So just answer these questions, 
including the last one, which is going to be name a time on Tuesday and also a time on Friday when you could meet using Zoom. So like I said, there's going to be two office hours, Tuesday and Friday. We'll see what the most popular time is. Tuesday's office hours are basically open questions. You could come in and ask questions from the Newton Alta, from the problem sets, anything except the quiz itself. If Well, you wouldn't be able to because the quiz is due on Friday and would already be done. Okay, so you can ask whatever questions. If people show up and they're not asking questions, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start working extra examples. And I'll think, all right, section 2.1, we haven't done one like this, let's do one like this. But if you have questions and you want to ask, please show up on Tuesday. Then on Fridays, that's going to be dedicated just to working on the problem sets. Now my goal is that you would join the Zoom, and then I would put you in pairs, and the two of you would work together. And then I can go around the room, the virtual room, and then say, how are you two doing? Do you need any help? Which one are you on? Are you stuck? Okay, let me help you out, and then I move on. And then, of course, I can talk to the whole class as well in that meeting room. But the Fridays would be for working on problem sets. Again, my thinking is I'm trying to make this a Monday through Friday class. So basically, like Monday through Thursday, you would work on the notes and the homework in Newton Alta. By the end of Friday night, at midnight, you need to take the Newton Alta quiz. And then the only thing left would be problem set. But if you come to that Friday office hour and work on the problem set, then hopefully you'd be done by Friday. Now the problem sets aren't actually due until Sunday night, so if you don't finish on Friday, you have the rest of the weekend to finish. But hopefully you can finish and have the weekend to relax. Okay, so there's also the podcast problems. Like I said, you could go to Hartnell excuse me, you could go to YouTube slash Hartnell College Math and see the videos, or you can see them right here, podcast 1 through 100. I broke them up into 1 through 50, and then later 51 through 100. So I suggest that you either keep referring back to this, what's due and when is it due, or just go ahead and print out that page so you know exactly what date everything is due. So the the quizzes, which are in Alta, those are going to be due each Friday. And the problem sets, like I just said, those are going to be due on Sunday. All right, so that's an overview of how the class works. I'm going to take a break, and then I'll come right back, and I'm going to make a different video, which is all about the Newton Alta, how that works. I'll see you soon. Or actually, you'll see me soon.